What are we watching? <laughs> Crazy! Foxes hang around farms because they're keen on an easy meal. But if you dig a little deeper, you'll see that the wily fox is actually a pretty fascinating creature. Well, that's, that is a kit. So that's a young fox. God, they're cute. <gasps> Wait, so he doesn't want to be bitten, but he's continuing to... Wait, is, I can't even understand this man's behaviour. Is he playing or is he trying to scare the fox away? What is going on here? I mean, it's not even a proper bite, is it? So this fox might have actually just been exploring the texture, smell, taste of this human. And really the only reason a fox would truly attack or bite a human would be if it was completely cornered, but even then, or if it's rabid, but under no circumstances should you ever <laughs> really touch a wild animal. <laughs> Need I say more? Wait, this, this is like a cartoon. Oh, oh, look at the feathers. Oh no, mate, you didn't get a good grip. Wow. Well, we like to say, right, that foxes are really smart and efficient killers, but that video sort of makes a mockery of it. But uh, believe me when I tell you that foxes are incredible predators. Foxes are like a farmer's worst enemy, really, in many ways, especially if you've got chooks, you've probably had foxes near your house. And they are amazingly agile, they're extremely fast. They can run at like 50k an hour over a relatively short distance. Apparently they can jump over six feet, right? That's like tall as a tall human. And that's why uh, you really have to like fence in completely chook pens, right? Or else the fox will get up and over and in and then Henny's a goner. Oh, look at that tail. Whoa, bad day for that little mole or whatever it is. Now, there's heaps going on in this behaviour. You see for a start that the fox is using its ears. It's listening really intently to where there is movement underneath the snow. But what you can't see in this video, because, well, we humans can't really see it, is the fact that foxes, in the Northern Hemisphere anyway, use the Earth's magnetic field to help them triangulate on their prey. What's the phrase from Mortal Kombat? Where it's like, finish him. Finish him. Oh, for a split second there, I thought they were gonna shag on that kid's trampoline. Whew, look at it practicing its pouncies. Whee! So they're having a good old rustle and a play. And this is something that you would expect to see, especially around the mating season, which is bang in the middle of winter. So that's when you're gonna hear them calling out and maybe see some tussling going on. So much time, they'll spend like three weeks out and about hunting together, just getting to know each other because there is certain cooperative elements to bringing up fox kits. Once she's got the kits in her den, he will actually be bringing her food to make sure that she's keeping strong for the babies. So yeah, you gotta choose a good one. And that's what they're doing on the trampoline. Ooh, you got a rat, mate. What has he got? Rat? Rabbit. Ooh, here comes the magpies. Mole, rat, rabbit, guinea pig. What is that? <laughs> rat. <laughs> they're so bold. Foxes in urban areas are much bolder than they are in rural areas, right? Because they're more habituated to having humans around. So you see that, that human went past and that fox barely even paid it any attention, right? It's focused on apparently having an intellectual discussion with this rat. <laughs> Mate, if you're gonna kill it, kill it. Wow. Oh, now the rat's gonna kill you. Oh, look, now everyone's stopping to watch. Oh, got it. But yeah, you wouldn't expect to see that happening necessarily in, in country foxes because they should be really scared of humans. We're a predator, much bigger than they are. It's an, a Londonite, it loves the city life. These opportunistic predators are public enemy number one for farmers, but you can't deny that foxes are pretty amazing. They are masters of adaptation and can thrive in almost any environment.